Hey people, I'm going to show you guys how to turn your Mac bootloader from this. Oh, I have to hold down option and then you forget and you boot into OS X. Change it from this to have something like this come up every time. Alright, so I'm going to boot up my Mac. Alright, I'll be back when I'm done logging in. Okay, now that you're on your Mac desktop, you need to open up your web browser. Go on Google. And you need to type in refit. And here, refit and EFI boot menu and toolkit. And then click download. And click refit on the latest one, whatever it is. So here we go, my download manager is opening up, because that's what I have everything downloading, downloading to, through, because it just down manages everything, so, have that all load up. So this is done, so when it's done downloading, you go to your downloads, you quit out your web browser, and you go um, to your downloads folder, mine's in Fox. Um reset, it's opening that, okay, so I got refit, double click, Double click, and you open it, we continue, continue, agree, um, no, no, you don't want to install it on your bootcamp drive, Macintosh HD, I don't know why you'd install it on bootcamp, that is just the worst idea, it's your Windows drive, it's formatted for Windows, installed on your Macintosh HD. Alright, so if bootcamp is selected, make sure you do Macintosh HD. Click install. Alright, it'll ask for your password. Gonna go. I'll be back when my install is done. Okay, when you've got this screen and you're finally done, it takes a while. You can close, you close, and you're gonna run and restart your computer two times, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm gonna restart two times, so. Apple, restart, restart, the first time it's just going to be a normal OS X boot, As soon as the login screen comes up, if you have one, if you just go to the dock, that's fine. You're going to want to restart it. So since mine's got the login screen on it, I'm just going to go to restart, and I'm going to restart it. Okay, so now there's a different menu. Refit. So... Mac OS X for Macintosh HD, and there's an option for my Windows 7. So I'm going to choose Mac. Okay, and now we're going to change your refit icons. From that, we're going to get rid of all the extra clutter. So now you're going to log in. I will do so now. 
go. I'm logging in to Mac OS X. Alright, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so now when you go to the link in the description, which will bring you to this, you're going to download the file, which will bring you here. Um, and you'll slow download, or I'll, I guess if you do have a free Rapture account, or a pro Rapture account, you can use that, but I don't, so let's just let that load. And we'll all be done when mine's done downloading. Okay, when you're done downloading, um, I used Rapid Share. Um, I don't care what you use. You need to go to where you downloaded your file. And then you need to go to Mac, Macintosh HD. Double click EFI. Double click Refit. And then I'm gonna, you're going to drag the two windows side by side just to have them there. And you're going to find the Refit stuff. Double click refit stuff. And then you're going to do these, uh, select both of these, and you're going to drag it here. And then you're going to click replace. And click replace. Done. Close. Close. You should be able to reboot and get a little change here. So let's see. Okay, now I'm going to reboot. Let's see what happens here. Reboot. So. Let's see. So here you go. You've got the Apple logo and Windows. No refit, none of that stuff. Just the two options. So I'll hit Apple. Boot up OS 10, and I'll log in and I'll reboot to Windows and we'll see what that's like. So here we go, we're logging in. So I'll just log in here and I'll reboot the computer. Alright, so welcome. So I'll just reboot. I'm just gonna reboot again. So we're gonna here we go again. And here we go, Mac and Windows, so I'll ship Windows and I'll get a Windows logo here. Loading. Here's gonna load up. Okay, my windows take a little longer, so anyway, I'll see you when I get to my desktop, I guess. Okay, thanks for watching. As you can see now, I'm in my Windows 7. Um, thanks for watching, and hope the refit helps you when you want to boot into Windows and you forget to hold down option. Alright, thank you. Bye bye.